hello guys this is shubhadeep welcome to my channel so in this tutorial we will see how to create an interactive dashboard where if i click on ftd the whole dashboard will change with ftd data if i click on mtd the whole dashboard will be changed on mtd data if i click on ytd the whole dashboard will be changed with ytd data so how to create this interactive dashboard let's see so for this thing here you can see this is my table okay here you can see date is there store code sales city and state okay this is our data so for first of all what i created i created a month number with month function then i created day function sorry so I created date column with day function and year column with year function. So here you can see. Uh, first of all, what I have to do, I have to create a table, custom table. So we have for that I have to go to enter data, then give a column name, then you have to create like FTD, then MTD then ytd like this i have already that's why i'm cancelling it so after that so what i have to do uh, i have to create the measures right so for that i need uh, first ytd measure so ytd what i have to do so my date is starting from april 1st 2024 so it will calculate uh, sum of total sales dates between start uh, from the date from the date column it will take starting date is uh, April 1st 2024 until today okay so like this we can create YTD yet to date what is the sales then MTD for MTD what I have to do so I created uh, three variables first variable is for today what is the day of today second variable is what is the month of today and third variable is what is the year of today then i am returning calculate total sales and filter this total sales from where from the sales data table and filtering what filtering the month number so i created the table uh, i created the column right from the sales data column from the sales data table where the month number is AA AA means AA means month of today so month of today is whatever it is so from the month column from the month number column it will take two days month from the year column it will take two days year and from the day column it will take equals to or less than uh, less than equals to today's date so like this if I calculate this it will give me the MTD data okay then for FTD what I have to do so <coughs> here if you want your till yesterday's data then you put FTD equals to today minus one unless you can put today then return calculate total sales where the filter uh, what is filtering filtering is total uh, sales data column sales data table where the date equals to today okay so like this we can create FTD sales okay now now is the real issue so how we created three measures but how to accumulate this okay for that we have to create another measure like this so it will take selected value of this time table okay what i created here this table here you can see this one so what it have to do so it will select the single row of this table okay so this is what it is doing selected value from this time table okay now we have to create another measure like this so if the selected value is ftd okay 
then give me the FTD cells. If the selected value is MTD, then give me the MTD cells. If the selected value is YTD, then give me the YTD cells. Now it is done. Now what I have to do? I have to create uh, whatever uh, table visual. So <coughs> I gave CT store. Now in the sales table, I should not put FTD. I should put this one, this measure. Okay. Here also, in this visual also, it is bar chart with uh, state cells, right? State cells, but the y axis I put this measure. So, whenever I select on MTD, whole dashboard will be based on MTD. Whenever I select on FTD, because of this table, the whole dashboard will be based on FTD cells. So like this, you can save lot of time and lot of memory consumption and file size should not be big. So like this, we can create a interactive dashboard where you can put FTD, MTD, YTD, anything in a single page. Okay, and it is highly interactive. So that's for today. If you like my channel, please subscribe it. If you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Thanks for supporting. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.